Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube page and the uh, daily audios we do here. We try to bring about resolution to common challenges and co coaching related questions as well as uh, relationship business and other questions that may pop up from time to time, moment to moment. We've got over 600 of these audios available for your listening pleasure. Hopefully many that you enjoy and are helpful to you. If you're looking for a coach, I'd love to add you to the roster of people that I serve this year, trying to make 2021 the biggest year in business yet. And uh, you can reach out through Twitter at PO Perception. You can also reach out through the About Me section of this YouTube page, and we can go from there. This particular audio, though, is about how to kind of impress your crush. We're going to kind of run through um, some degree of uh, half a dozen things or so that will be impressive. Uh, and so uh, the first is an adrenaline-based date, something that raises not only the heart rate, but the mental rate at which you're approaching the dating process. So it might be something like a scary movie or physical exercise, or even going to a museum or place where you can see beautiful art and kind of give that awe and, and uh, drive. And the reason for this is a lot of times when you're trying to impress somebody, they remember how they feel. And so a rush of adrenaline, both intellectually and physically, can create a more lasting memory, memory neurosynaptically than if you were to, um, you know, just kind of sit and talk and have a basic conversation. So obviously you don't want to go watch a boring movie, but you might be, if you're both into, say, horror or action thrillers or something like that, you might want to create that and then go do something physical afterwards. But the idea is you want someone in an adrenaline-based concept going forward the next is remembering little things and doing them for the person. So obviously, if you're on a first date, chances are you've talked at least a few times. Most people do this. Not everybody. Sometimes you meet one night and you go out the next. But the majority of people have at least talked by text or in person or um, by phone, you know, a few times at least. And so bringing a small gift to the person that you uh, kind of care about and or have an interest in is helpful because that gift shows, number one, that you've been paying attention to their uh, likes and dislikes. Number two, that you've been actively engaged in the, um, in the nature of listening to what they don't like and what they, what they want someone to do for them. Number three, it shows that you're considering them when you're not in front of them, and that is probably the mo single most important part of that exchange. If someone is on your mind when you're not right in front of them, the chances that they will feel as though they are important to you or more important than, you know, just a random passerby increase greatly. And you want uh, a potential dating partner to feel important. Anyway, uh, the next thing in that process is to look at something as simple as and I know this will sound weird, but a warm beverage. So the idea of a warm beverage is if someone feels warm on the inside, from a physical perspective, they're going to feel comforted. So uh, I'll blend this with food, comfort foods, favorite foods, things that take time to prepare but make you feel comfortable. So finding out someone's favorite food and incorporating it into a date is going to make you more memorable because they're going to hey, they made my favorite chicken parmesan, or hey, they took me out for tacos, or whatever the case is, that's going to make you more memorable. Extra bonus points if you know a place that is competitive with the quality of food at, of their favorite restaurant, but is like a smaller chain, so that they've never been there before, to make yourself appear more A, connected, but B, Creative. Creativity, another part of the dating process that people under uh, undervalue and undersell and underserve. The next is humor. Humor is so important for a variety of reasons, but most importantly because if you can connect with someone and make them laugh, they're going to relax. A laughing person is a relaxed person. Very few people accept nervous laughter, which 
you're going to know because their body language and facial expression will change in accordance with their with their emotional discord but the fact of the matter is at the end of the day you will begin to understand the value of knowing how to connect with somebody if you share common humor or ideas in which you find funny about the world the next is compliment them genuinely but also compliment people around you so you might say something like this person looks friendly or the waiter's really conscientious or the person in front of us in line at the um movie theater was wearing a really cool blue jacket whatever it is when you can compliment another person genuinely and you're not going to get anything back from or for complimenting them it shows that you are an observant person but it also shows that you're a person who's willing to see the beauty in other things when a person begins to realize and recognize that in fact you see beauty in other things there's value there and that can be super super helpful so hopefully this has been helpful i encourage you to keep your feet on the ground your mind in the moment until next time everybody